Hi everyone! Today I'm gonna make this recipe sesame biscuit or what we call it in Arabic kaak. I made this one yesterday for my family and they all loved it and this is what left. I thought I'll share this recipe with you and you're gonna like it easy and simple to make. Let's start with our recipe. I have one cup warm water, warm milk, not water, three quarter cup caster sugar. You can use powder sugar if you want. Mix it. Half a cup vegetable oil. And now I'm going to add the flour. I have three cups of plain flour and quarter cup of corn starch or corn flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, and one tablespoon of aniseed powder. You can use cardamom if you want, and half a teaspoon salt. I'm going to mix everything with the spatula because it's going to be a soft dough. I need another quarter cup of flour. So gather the clumps together. I'm, I'm going to add one teaspoon of oil to make the dough soft and easy to work with. I'm going to add another one, another teaspoon. So fold until just combined. And that's it. It doesn't need more kneading. Now, I'm not gonna like work with the dough again. I'm gonna leave it like this rested. And I cut it to two pieces so easier to work. We need toasted sesame seed to dip the, the roll I'm gonna do. Usually we don't do it this way. We just do it one piece at the time like this and dip it with the sesame seed and shape it. But with me, I want to roll it a big, big strip and then I'm going to cut it to pieces and then roll it in the sesame seed and shape it. When you roll it with the sesame seed, the sesame seed, when you bake it, it doesn't uh, come off the, uh, the biscuits. It doesn't make a mess. It's easy to eat. Like you see, it's very easy and simple. You can shape it to whatever shape you want. I did it like a heart shape. You can do it like a donut shape. You can. It's your choice. Oops, I forget to add bicarbonate soda, so it's, it's okay, we still can add it. I'm going to add just a quarter of a teaspoon, not too much, and I'm going to put a little bit of water on my palm like this and tap it on top of the dough and mix it. 
still can combine with the dough and should be fine. And end of the, uh, the video, I'm going to show you between the one I did without bicarbonate soda and the one with, so you can see the difference. That's it. You don't need to leave it to rest or anything. This dough, it's very easy and simple. You can start straight away with it. and we'll continue normal, like we didn't have any mistakes. It's from beginning to end, uh, this recipe it took me to make one hour. It doesn't take long at all. Like about 20 minutes, doing the dough, unroll everything, and it's going to take, because I'm going to put three trays in the oven, it's going to take me, each one is going to take 20 minutes. So that's it. That's it. Very simple and easy. Now I'm going to show you a different way too, because I love both ways, but I love this way more. Just cut them to the size you want, roll them with the sesame seed, and that's it. Just You don't need to do anything else with it, just like that. And this is one, it's much easier if you have having coffee or tea or milk or whatever, you can dip it. It's like a finger. And like I said, you can do it any way you want. I'm going to talk about the oven here. I heated my oven to 100 degree. I'm going to put the tray first five minutes on 200 and then the second five minutes I'm going to put it on 180 and the other 10 minutes on 150. So that way the uh, biscuits, they come crunchy and dry from inside. It lasts you for a week. It's okay. Nothing is going to happen to it, even more one week. And this is when came up from the oven look the quantity I made from three cups so they look yummy and I'm gonna show you the one between the bicarbonate soda and the one without this one without you should see from inside how fluffy and this one with the bicarbonate soda. They both similar. They both almost the same. And the crunchy, the same. Because the corn flour it gives you the crunchiness in the uh, biscuits. So whatever you decide to do, it's fine. You can add the bicarbonate soda or you don't, it's fine. And this is how crunchy they are. You can have them afternoon, morning, snacks. It's up to you. It's very yummy recipe. I hope you're going to like it. If you like it, put like for me and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching the video. And I'll see you in my next recipe.